tonight is get us out of the UN and get the UN out of the US. Uh, the United Nations was created in 1945 in the wake of World War II. Uh, people were tired of war and they felt fell for the idea of an international debating society where diplomats give speeches and hopefully everybody gets along and wars are prevented. But uh, just the opposite has happened and we've had more wars. I feel like we have been in perpetual war. I think many of you agree with that. The annual dues for America to the UN, it cost US taxpayers a whopping $2 billion just for annual dues. In addition, there are also voluntary payments. And in 19, uh, pardon me, in uh, 2010, the U.S. paid $7.7 .7 billion to the U.N. And the U.S. pays an estimated 27% of all U.N. expenses and more than all of the other permanent members of the Security Council combined. Now, what are we getting from the U.N.? Uh, we get insulted by visiting dictators like Hugo Chavez and Mahmoud uh, Ahmadinejad. And we get to witness corruption and kickbacks on a grand scale. Uh, corrupt dip diplomats siphon billions of dollars in phony programs like oil for food and supposedly rebuilding Haiti after the earthquake. Uh, falsely called a, a peacekeeper, the UN fails in the face of evil. And examples of that have been uh, Kosovo and Rwanda. United Nations employees are paid twice the wages of private Americans, and former UN <laughs> Secretary General Bubu Ghali said that perhaps half of the UN workforce does nothing useful. Now, the UN is worse than a wasteful, bloated paper tiger, as some have called it. The 50% of UN workers who are busy are writing treaties and agendas that put our freedoms and property rights in jeopardy. And these are just some of the UN treaties pending confirmation by our US Senate. There's one called the UN Rights of the Child, uh, which abolishes parental rights. The UN Small Arms Treaty uh, that abolishes the, our US Second Amendment to the Constitution to keep and bear arms. The UN Law of the Sea Treaty, uh, which gives UN bureaucrats control over all the waters of the planet. Uh, that's over and under all surface of all waters. Plus, they want a portion of the mineral and oil royalties produced off of our shores. UN taxes on the internet and on all financial transactions worldwide have been discussed for quite a few years now, and those seem to always be uh, proposed. Now, United Nations Agenda 21, adopted in 1992 at their Earth Summit, but never ratified by our U.S. Senate as a treaty, is nevertheless being written into soft law. The definition of that is the regulations written by bureaucrats at the EPA, HUD, FEMA, HHS, and other government agencies. And it's the 2009 executive order of President Obama mandating every federal department and agency adopt a sustainable development plan. So what is sustainable development? It hides behind names like smart growth, green this and green that, and it's explained in a 40 chapter book called Agenda 21. And this is a quote. It is, this is a quote from Rosa Quar, who is my new hero who has written the book called Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21. Uh, this is a book that we have given wide distribution and is one of the best uh, currently available. Rosa says that it is the action plan to inventory and control all land, all water, all minerals, all plants, all animals, all construction, all means of production, all information, all energy, and all human beings in the world. Now, I have reprinted a handout from Rosa's website, which is called Democrats Against Agenda 21, and it's a two-page uh, handout that I'll be happy to give one to 
you that, in a nutshell, explains what is Agenda 21, because in reality, it's a very complicated program, something that would control all humans in all the world is quite complicated and detailed. Now, um, the United Nations goal is global socialism. I've been studying the United Nations all of my adult life, um, and I've condensed it down to that. That's what they want, is global socialism. But socialism is not an American value. And that's why I've dedicated a lot of my life to exposing the UN, and my desire is to rout it from American soil, as I hope you will be too. I want to point out a new book that was just published a couple of weeks ago by Dick Morris and Eileen McCann called Here Come the Black Helicopters. Some of you may get Dick Morris's uh, Noon Time videos that you can subscribe to on the internet. They're free. And what I found out just recently when we went to Tallahassee for Freedom from the UN rally that was held at, at the Old Capitol in Tallahassee Saturday, last Saturday, was it? The organizers of that rally told me that they had been sending information about Agenda 21 to Dick Morris for several months now. And I can tell by watching Dick Morris on his little videos that his eyes have been really open. But this is what his book looks like. And Nova and I will be going to Washington, D.C. next month for freshman orientation with the Tea Party Patriots. And Dick Morris is one of the key speakers at our Friday function, so I can't wait to talk to him. But this is a, a very good source to learn about the United Nations. And I have my home page set to the New American this is uh, the latest issue of the magazine, The United Nations on the Brink of Becoming a World Government. Also, Rosa Quar, the gal that wrote the uh, Behind the Green Mask book, sent me a complimentary copy of this book called Unsustainable Cartoons. And uh, I'll have it here if some of you want to see it. But an artist has put together several cartoons illustrating uh, UN bureaucrats.